All right, guys, this is gonna be kind of a different little video, more of an informative thing than anything. If you guys are just stopped by, I'll get right to the point, but please check out other videos on the channel and be sure to uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment if this helped you. So guys, what we're working on today is a 2003 Cummins. This is a 5.9 liter common reel uh, truck. So the problem that this truck was having was it would not start unless, which it's not recommended to do this, unless you put ether to it. If you ethered it, it would run, it would start up and run fine. There's a couple different reasons why a common rail truck won't start. If it cranks it doesn't start, um, obviously a diesel engine has to have fuel to run. This is a common rail style injection system. So the easiest thing to do, um, the absolute easiest and first thing you need to do is you need to check and see if it's making rail pressure. If it won't start, make sure it's making rail pressure. So we have our snap-on scanner plugged in. I'll try to get the truck to crank without starting so I can show you this but we're going to read our data and we want to know what this truck is making for fuel pressure on the rail now this is a high pressure system and my freaking keys turned off just a second ultimately first you want to verify that you have low side fuel pressure so low side fuel pressure is from your uh, lift pump system. Now these trucks standardly come with either a little fuel pump mounted on the side of the engine block up to 04 and a half, and sometimes they put them in the tank, 05 and up, it's always gonna be in the fuel tank. You wanna verify that lift pump is working correctly. You should see around 10 to 20 PSI, it really just depends. Um, I mean, it, it, it's recommended, you know, an aftermarket lift pump is gonna be preset at like 15 to 17 PSI, but it's probably gonna be somewhere in the 10 to 20 PSI range if it's like a factory lift pump. So once that's verified and there's no chance that that's a problem, you're getting correct fuel flow to the CP3 pump, um, you wanna verify what your fuel pressure is, your, what your high side fuel pressure is. So as you guys can see right now, we have 5,800 pounds in the rail. Um, before I fixed this issue, which ended up being the relief valve, before the, I fixed the relief valve, my dogs are running here, this truck would only make around six to 700 pounds while I was cranking the engine. So I would basically hook the scanner up, crank the engine. I was only getting five to 600 pounds. That's not enough to fire the injectors. I think the ECM requires 1400. It needs to see before it will start the truck. Now, another thing that it could have possibly been was the fuel injectors. If the fuel injectors on these are returning at a high rate, it will not make enough real pressure to start. So that's what I was hoping that it didn't turn into. And I'm really glad we're gonna be able to get this customer back on the road with this. But guys, all it was, was this little relief valve. So this little relief valve here was bad. Um, and I'll show you the one that we took off. It's basically just a very small orifice for the fuel pressure to go to, go through. And this was basically allowing all the fuel to go back to the tank. So we got our new one on here. And now the truck, I'll show you guys, fires right up. It's because it's holding rail. scanners freaking out still but um, other things you guys can check i'll go over real quick before we close this video out is the fuel control actuator um if you have a check engine light and the truck won't start definitely check that see what the codes are but the fuel control actuator is this little sensor right here basically what that guy's job is to do is to tell the cp3 pump hey this is how much we need to put to the rail and you know this is what we need to be doing right now if you unplug those um it'll basically just put wide open fuel pressure to the rail it makes the injectors really noisy not really recommended to do it but you can unplug it um if you want to kind of sort that being an issue out you can just unplug it test it not recommended to run it i'm not really recommending you to do that but it is something you can do but we got our rail on there um these gaskets are kind of bad so the only thing we're going to do to this thing is change these gaskets put all this back together nice like this wire needs rerouted just so i could start it guys and we will send this truck on the road so um just a cheap little easy part um got this truck back on the road and you know something that you need to take into consideration yeah i mean just go through these steps guys you have a commoner it won't start does it have low side fuel pressure yes does it is it making real pressure no okay why is it not making real pressure that's probably why it's not starting so go through those you guys will figure it out um another thing it could be is the rail pressure sensor there's a rail pressure sensor right here the sensor can go bad but a lot of times if one of these is bad and it's reading uh, it's not reading correctly you're going to get a check engine light if that's bad or that's bad you may not always but most of the time you're probably going to get a check engine light if not this little guy right here try that 
it's not that I tried the injectors like i said i know i'm throwing a lot of info at you but i thought this could maybe help someone um definitely help my customer customer out a little bit and we'll get him back on the road so all i gotta do is grab those gaskets this thing will be ready to go and we'll move on to the next one guys but without further ado i'm going to close out this little video i know it was short sweet to the point just wanted to help hopefully it helps someone out that was the whole entire goal of this video is to help someone um in the in the videos you guys can expect upcoming we are going to be heading to ultimate call out challenge in indianapolis indiana bringing mason's truck the 98 dodge truck that we completely gutted and it's making roughly like eight nine hundred horse right now it's got s472 big p-pump trucks so like i said guys be sure to go check out the other videos uh, be sure to check everything out and yeah without further ado uh, also visit the website dirtydomdiesel.com pick up a key tag pick up a sticker and we'll see you guys on the next one like i said not going to be your, your normal video for me just something informative sweet to the point but see you guys in the next one